Hey y'all, alright, so I've kind of decided to do a video, kind of a uh, non-topical video, if you will, but for titles and maybe argument's sake, if all else fails, we'll make it a cigar review video, but I'm basically just going to kind of just talk to you about what's on my mind or whatever, introduce you to my other two pets here you haven't seen yet, this is my old boy Hank, he's the old man, the best dog in the world right here. He's the head of this household. Come here. Willie. And here is his son, Willie, who is the terror of the house. Pees on, chews up, chases after, runs off, barks at everything. And of course, you've seen my tarantula. So, as I said, it's going to be kind of just me speaking, talking, you know. Talking about whatever, but we're going to make it a cigar review video, so why not get into that topic so that I have something to talk about right off the bat. This is uh, absolutely one of my favorite cigars, and you've heard me mention some of my other videos about this cigar. Uh, just one of the best ultra premium brand blends out there. This is the Ave Maria Reconquista, blended by AJ Fernandez. Most of you probably know A.J. Fernandez because he's well known in the cigar business. In fact, his blends were some of the ones that helped me decide when I first started smoking that I wanted to continue the cigar hobby. And I found his blends and I fell back in love with cigars. And um, so I really enjoy his blends. He's Cuban born and took advantage of the embargo when he was younger. Went to Nicaragua in the 90s with the cigar boom that happened, you know, across uh, Europe and the Americas with cigars. And so all these different regions that can legally produce and export cigars like Honduras, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, places like that had to have blenders to, you know, bring Cuban seed tobacco and their knowledge of blending tobacco to these different growing regions and produce blends that can compete with Cubans. And I'll tell you what, folks, this guy right here will compare with a Cuban any day. I've only had two Cubans, one of them being a Monte Cristo, that this would hold a candle to it. This is a really good cigar, really smooth. There's just, there's just something about it. it's an everybody's smoke. It's not a stronger cigar lover smoke. It's not a milder cigar lover smoke. It's not a Maduro's cigar. Maduro lover cigar, not a Connecticut wrapper lover cigar. It's just, it's such an equal blend of everything. And that's the way AJ Fernandez is with his blends on his cigars, which is why I really love him. But this is going to, this is probably my absolute favorite of his. I've had quite a few of these. Unfortunately, they are pretty expensive. Look at that beautiful artwork on that band. That was what attracted me when I was first shopping for cigars. And I saw these bands and I thought, wow, I wonder if this cigar is as beautiful and wonderful as the rapper or the band, you know. And of course, I started ordering some AJ Fernandez, uh, you know, samplers. When you first start out, you order samplers so you figure out what you like. And I just happened to catch a deal when I first started smoking five or six years ago. It was on the website that first got me uh, ordering online cigars at Cigar.com. And one of their daily deals was a three-pack of these for I think uh, 30 bucks when normally they're 40 bucks a, a, a three pack or higher these guys are 15 to 20 dollars a stick I got them for around 10 or 12 which was well worth it but it was it was one it was right in the middle of the week right before payday I did I had the money in my pocket but I didn't have the money till payday but it was a one-day deal and so I got three three packs of these guys and I thought, wow, this is a great cigar. And so I made them last as long as I could, thinking, you know, that, you know, they're kind of hard to afford all the time. And I got lucky, and I got some another three pack a couple of years ago. And I went through those with my brother really quick. But this one right here actually happens to be from that first batch I bought probably five years ago. This was one of the the original ones, and I don't know if the light will do any good, but I don't know if you can tell how yellow this cellophane is. How yellow the cello. Old ass cigar. 
How yellow the cello. Anyway, this is a very yellow cellophane, which means that this is a very well-aged cigar. And so we're going to get, I'm going to go get my cutter because I forgot it. I'm going to go get a drink. I'm going to get back here and we're going to cut this thing up and kind of break this thing down and get into the, the whole um, insides of this thing. And I'm going to settle my dogs down because they're wrestling underneath my feet. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and as you can see, I've already got it cut. I just lopped a little off the tip there, which is perfect, effortless straw on this thing. So back to what I was saying, A.J. Fernandez is a well-known Cuban-born uh, cigar blender in, in Nicaragua. Just YouTube his name, A.J. Fernandez, and if you don't know him, you know, in the cigar world. And if you don't know him in the cigar world, you just started, because he's the one, like I said, got me deep into it. And he makes blends like the Man of War series, the the uh, Ave Marias, like this blend right here, the Diesel, which is the blend, the Unholy Cocktail is the one that officially really got me hooked on Nicaraguan cigars and cigars in general, but especially Nicaraguans. And then I discovered this one, and I just I really enjoyed it. every single one I've had, and I just got thinking about it, and I was like, you know. Ever since I started doing uh, review videos, I haven't done the Ave Maria, which is one of the first cigars I ever fell in love with. I like this personally. I hope this doesn't offend anybody. I get, get negative comments, but I like this personally than the Padron series. The 64. I don't get the Padron 64. I don't get, but this one I get. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and give you some of the breakdown on this thing. This is a 7x4, uh, 7x54 torpedo. Only size that they make. And you think, geez, that's a big-ass honking cigar. Normally, you're right. I don't like these big honking cigars like this, which is one of the things that, you know, really kind of put me off when I first got some. And I saw how big they were. I thought, geez, this is going to take like three hours to smoke. They do take about two hours to smoke. But every moment of it is enjoyable. Normally, I don't like these big, fat cigars like this. But this is one that I really love. I suggest it to anybody that's... Is starting to smoke cigars if you can afford it. This is a really good cigar. Um, the wrapper is a Brazilian Habano Oscuro. Pardon me. Grown in the region of Brazil. And I couldn't find anything on the binder, but the fillers are from the three prime growing regions of Nicaragua, which I mentioned in another video. Esteli, Jalapa, and Condega. All three blends. That's why I was saying in that last video. If you've got all three of those tobaccos together, you've got a kick-ass cigar. And this is a kick-ass cigar. So, uh, let me give you some little first impressions on the wrapper. Really nice. Smooth, mellow, earthy, sweet. A bit of a peppery aged tobacco and maybe a little cocoa there. And on the foot, oh, right off the bat, first thing that comes to mind is chocolate. Lots of chocolate. Dark chocolate. It's really nice. I could sit here and just smell this damn thing for an hour before I even light it. It's that good of a cigar, folks. It really is. And on the draw, which, as I said, is effortless, even with just that tiny little bit lopped off. A lot of um, woody notes. Kind of a generic woodiness right now. A little sweetness. Some hay and tea leaf. And just a uh, really well blended and well aged tobacco flavor. If you've had a good cigar, then you know the flavor I'm talking about. You can't really break it down, but you know it when you taste it. So, without, without too much more on that, I'm going to go ahead and toast this thing. And this thing's going to take a little while to toast. And I didn't really have a script or anything. So didn't really have anything planned out to talk about. 
as I was toasting this cigar. So this might this video might get pretty boring pretty quick. I said I was gonna make it a non-topical video, just talk about whatever came to my mind, and just like a writer that sits down and tries to write things, I've got YouTubers block, <laughs> not writers block. And so now all of a sudden I don't really have anything to talk about besides the fact that I don't have anything to talk about. Which tells you how great my life's going right now. But, oh well, like I said, at least we have those moments we can stop and enjoy a good cigar and just melt the world away for a while. And these folks is a cigar that will melt the world away, believe me.